It's a neck all productions are here. Gurgle, gurgle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Taz sends, sends us this. Shane Douglas, the franchise. The Gary Pitbull Wolf kick your fucking ass for breaking his neck, or did he just whine about it like I would have? <laughs> I got a little dick. Beat me if you can. Survive if I let you. <laughs> That's nice little stop motion animation there. Thank yeah. you for that. <laughs> yeah, uh, Gary Wolf. Uh, G Gary Wolf, uh, the day of the, of, of the neck being broken, and he will tell you till he's blue in the face differently to this. He hit me with a move that was supposed to not land me where I landed. Put it that way. What happened was it, I didn't realize it, but it broke my neck. Before you know it, uh, I found myself in the hospital, strapped to a bed, and they're telling me that my neck is broke. My C1 vertebrae was broken. So they had to drill a halo on me, and I had to wear a halo for six weeks. And uh, Shane did it. kept telling me how he wanted to take this move. He was going to take it a certain way, and I, he was going to spike himself like a, like a DDT. And I kept telling him that you, know, that you can't do it that way because a drop arm DDT with me weighing 250 at the time, as I pull you, it's not going to drop you in a straight axis. It's going to drop you off center. And all day long he's telling me this to the point where I'm thinking I, he's ribbing me because he's just bringing it up so often, and I've explained to him the danger to it. He's just ribbing me. So we go into the match, and we come to the spot, and hit the moon. When I hit it, I could tell just by the feel of it, it was like a thud. You know, like it just didn't feel right. And I looked over and I saw him rolling out of the ring. He's holding his neck and he's, you know, doing this and he, you know, selling. But we get back to the dressing room that night and he's, you know, doing this stuff and he's like kinking my neck and he's, you know, trying to pop his neck. He's doing this stuff. He has people working on his neck and pulling him. And so uh, that was Saturday night. Monday, I know, and ECW, you have to understand the, to the backdrop to this, Todd Gordon, uh, most of the guys in the dressing room, Francine, everybody was always trying to rib everybody. And uh, mostly harmless ribs, but there were some stiff ones, as we just said a minute ago. Uh, but he's in the dressing room. I see him doing this, and Monday morning, Todd calls me and says, did you hear about Gary? I said, what about Gary? He said, you broke his neck on Saturday night. He's in surgery right now. I said, get the fuck out of here. He goes, I'm serious. I wouldn't lie to you about that. I said, Todd, I, I saw him in the dressing room. Herkin jerking his neck around all night long. There's no way his neck was broken. He'd be dead, you know. And he's going, Shane, I'm telling you, I still didn't believe it until I see, I go to work the next week and I see him there with the screws in his skull and everything else. And I was like, oh my God, I, you know, I was stunned. But, but, you know, I'm thinking, geez, you know, the way you, I told you not to take it, you took it. And now he'll tell you to this day that I did it on purpose and, and uh, you know, I didn't do this right and I didn't do that right, whatever. He took that move as he was, as I told him multiple times during that day, not to take it. But in wrestling, in typical ECW fashion, we're gonna take chicken shit and make it into chicken salad, make lemonade out of lemons. You know, it's uh, it was what we did better than any other company in the last 25 years in wrestling. <laughs> Yeah, 